Harry Hopkins, the power broker behind FDR, scandals, secrets, and suspicions. Harry Hopkins was one of the most powerful yet enigmatic figures of the 20th century, serving as Franklin D. Roosevelt's closest advisor during the Great Depression and World War II. However, his influence came with a heavy dose of controversy. From accusations of Soviet espionage to secretive dealings with foreign leaders, Hopkins' life was filled with scandalous and shocking episodes. Here are some of the most scandalous, shocking, and intriguing facts about Harry Hopkins. Fact number one. A troubled youth, Hopkins' early life and personal struggles. Harry Lloyd Hopkins was born on August 17, 1890, in Sioux City, Iowa. He grew up in a middle-class family with religious and educational values, but his youth was far from idyllic. His father, David Hopkins, was a harness maker who struggled with maintaining a stable income, leading to financial instability in the family. Harry's mother, Anna Hopkins, was a devout Methodist who imposed strict moral guidelines, which clashed with Harry's rebellious nature. Hopkins married three times. His first marriage, to Ethel Gross in 1913, produced three sons but ended in divorce in 1929. The strain of his intense work schedule, combined with personal differences, led to their separation. His second wife, Barbara Duncan, whom he married in 1931, died tragically of cancer in 1937, which left him devastated. His final marriage was to Louise Macy in 1942, and they remained together until his death in 1946. Hopkins was also rumored to have had extramarital affairs, though these claims were never publicly substantiated. Number 2. The Man Behind the New Deal, A Controversial Architect Harry Hopkins is often credited as the primary architect of the New Deal, the series of programs and reforms introduced by FDR to combat the Great Depression. However, his involvement in the New Deal was not without controversy. Hopkins' close relationship with Roosevelt led to accusations of cronyism and favoritism. Critics argued that he had too much power, especially since he was never elected to office. His role in the Works Progress Administration WPA, made him a target for political attacks, as opponents claimed he used the WPA to build a political machine for FDR. The WPA's allocation of funds was often criticized as being biased towards states and districts that supported the Democratic Party, leading to accusations of corruption. Number 3. Allegations of Soviet Espionage, the Hopkins Controversy One of the most enduring scandals surrounding Harry Hopkins involves allegations of Soviet espionage. Some historians and researchers have suggested that Hopkins may have been a Soviet spy or at least heavily influenced by Soviet interests during his time in the Roosevelt administration. These claims are based on decrypted Soviet communications, known as the Venona Papers, which allegedly reference a high-level U.S. official who was sympathetic to the Soviet cause. Though no conclusive evidence has been found to definitively label Hopkins as a spy, the allegations have cast a long shadow over his legacy. Supporters argue that Hopkins was simply a pragmatic diplomat trying to maintain an alliance with the USSR during World War II, while critics believe his actions compromised American security. Number 4. Secret Meetings with Stalin, the Diplomatic Mastermind During World War II, Harry Hopkins was one of the few American officials who had direct access to Joseph Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union. Hopkins' secret meetings with Stalin, often conducted without the presence of other American diplomats, raised eyebrows in Washington and fueled rumors of backdoor deals. Hopkins was known for his ability to negotiate and his deep understanding of Soviet needs, which some saw as a double-edged sword. While his efforts were crucial in securing Soviet cooperation during the war, they also led to suspicions that he was too close to the Soviet leadership. His frequent trips to Moscow and private discussions with Stalin only added to the mystery and controversy surrounding his role. Number 5. The Lend-Lease Program, A Savior or a Scandal? Harry Hopkins was a key figure in the implementation of the Lend-Lease Program, which provided military aid to Allied nations during World War II. While the program was hailed as a crucial element in the defeat of the Axis powers, it was also criticized for its lack of oversight and the enormous sums of money involved. Hopkins was accused of pushing through the program with little regard for congressional approval, leading to suspicions of mismanagement and corruption. 
The sheer scale of the aid, which amounted to billions of dollars, led some to question whether the United States was being too generous, especially towards the Soviet Union. Hopkins' role in the program made him a lightning rod for criticism, with some alleging that he prioritized Soviet needs over American interests. Number 6. Health Struggles and the Impact on His Work Throughout his life, Harry Hopkins struggled with severe health issues, including stomach cancer, which significantly impacted his work and personal life. His health problems were a closely guarded secret for much of his career, leading to speculation about his fitness for office. Despite undergoing multiple surgeries and being frequently hospitalized, Hopkins continued to serve as one of FDR's closest advisors. His deteriorating health often forced him to work from his hospital bed, and there were times when his ability to make sound decisions was questioned. The fact that such a critically ill man held so much power during a pivotal time in history remains a point of controversy. Number 7. Hopkins and the Roosevelt Family, A Tense Relationship Harry Hopkins' close relationship with Franklin D. Roosevelt led to tensions within the Roosevelt family, particularly with First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor reportedly disliked Hopkins and viewed him as a bad influence on her husband. She was particularly concerned about the amount of power Hopkins wielded and his influence over FDR's decisions. Roosevelt, however, staunchly defended his reliance on Hopkins, once remarking, I understand your surprise that I need this half-man. But one day you may sit in the chair of the President of the United States, and when that happens, you will look at that door and know in advance that whoever walks through it will be asking you for something. This quote underscores Roosevelt's deep trust in Hopkins, who was seen by the President as someone who sought nothing for himself but to serve. Despite the tensions, Hopkins remained a trusted advisor to FDR which only fueled speculation about the nature of their relationship and the extent of Hopkins' influence over the president. Number 8. Accusations of Racism, the WPA's Controversial Practices Harry Hopkins' administration of the Works Progress Administration, WPA, was marred by accusations of racial discrimination. Despite the WPA's efforts to provide jobs for millions of unemployed Americans during the Great Depression, Critics pointed out that the program often favored white workers over African Americans and other minorities. In some cases, black workers were paid less than their white counterparts, and segregation was enforced in WPA projects. Hopkins faced significant criticism for not doing enough to address these disparities, leading to allegations of institutional racism within the WPA. These accusations have tainted Hopkins' legacy as a champion of the working class, revealing the complexities and contradictions of his leadership. Number 9. Extramarital Affairs, The Private Life of a Public Figure In addition to his political scandals, Harry Hopkins' personal life was also the subject of much speculation. While he was married three times, rumors of extramarital affairs dogged him throughout his life. One particularly scandalous rumor involved a romantic relationship with FDR's daughter, Anna Roosevelt. Though this affair has never been confirmed, the mere suggestion of such a liaison caused a stir in Washington circles. Hopkins' close relationship with the Roosevelt family, combined with his own troubled marriages, made his personal life a frequent topic of gossip and scandal. Number 10. The Mysterious Death, Hopkins' Final Days Harry Hopkins' death on January 29, 1946, was shrouded in mystery and speculation. Although the official cause of death was listed as complications from stomach cancer, some have suggested that there may have been more to the story. Hopkins' deteriorating health in his final years, combined with the stress of his work during the war, led to whispers that he may have been pushed to the brink by the pressures of his position. There were also rumors that he had become a liability to those in power, and that his death was a convenient end to a potentially explosive situation. While these theories remain speculative, they highlight the enduring intrigue surrounding one of the most enigmatic figures of the Roosevelt era. Number 11. 